This is the finished exhaust for the turbo Chevy. It's the stock truck manifolds flipped forward. Cut them off at an angle and I welded on two pipes. That's how I first started. Um, I think this was the first elbow I made. Just three 15 degree chop saw bends. And then I wondered for a while how to attach these and what needed to be removable. And I settled on... Uh, I had one flange available just sitting here, and I didn't really want to go get more, so I cut it in half and put one half either side, and uh, I can remove this whole front section here. And it gets really tight once you tighten these down, and it crimps the metal together, so I have a nut welded either side on the front that I screw a slide hammer into, and that makes it much easier to uh, take these off. Hold on, I'll take it down from here for you. I just painted it yesterday. There it is, down on the nice dirty floor, and uh, got to cover up the line where the wire was hanging it. Probably have to do a little more where the clamps are if I move the clamps when I put it on. I forgot till the last minute that I had to put the wastegate thing in, and my friend just said put it where it fits and angle it a little bit towards the turbo and near the flange, she said, so I did this and fits nicely and then uh, I saw the Silverado turbo kits online and it's pretty much in the same place that it is on those so it's uh on an aftermarket I guess it's probably pretty ideal I uh, welded a lug nut in for my EGR thing and it fit perfectly and the taper makes it ideal to weld in the only next thing I got to do is uh, I got this in JB welded nicely Got to make a gasket for here, then put the tank back in, run the lines, uh, install my starter, and wire up the micro squirt, and then it should be good for uh, a test firing. See if this, uh, see if this four hundred dollar five point three is good or crap. So, thanks for watching.